Hey, what's happening guys? So, you know, I'm all a Twitter, man. When I get into some artwork that I'm creating, man, there ain't no stopping me. I tell you, get on a roll and you work on an hour here, a couple hours there. Worked on it yesterday, worked on it just now for about an hour or so, I think. And, uh, yeah, it's going along just swimmingly, just lovey-dovey. Uh, there's a lot I want to say I've been thinking as I was drawing this. Uh, and coloring it, uh, there, there's a lot of things I want to say. What do you think I want to say, Gloria? The bush, huh? What a big tail! <laughs> anyway, so, um, alright, well, let me sit down here in my crummy old chair there. <sighs> alright, so, okay, first of all, uh, before I forget, just to show you how cheaply things are made today. So uh, when I went to uh, Desair there to buy some markers, which I hadn't done in a long time. Well, first at the dollar store, I picked up these Sharpie markers, right? You buy, you buy these for three bucks and you get these these types here, your office type, if you will. And uh, But then, you know, you got to get some markers like these, the more expensive markers, you know, like three, five bucks each to do this kind of jazz uh, because they don't leave streaks really practically. It's more like... It kind of blends in more like paint, okay? Uh, and um, and they're great, except one of them, which is actually uh, has Omer Dessert's name on it. I only noticed that now because I'm visually impaired. Uh, they're pretty shit, actually. The the well, for one thing, they don't show the colors on the ends of them like this or uh, or uh, this one here, right? So. It, it's hard to figure out what the fuck, which one is which, you know, like, look, this one, it just says WJ, I guess warm gray, right? And then there's another one. Well, the other one, okay, I didn't, I put in my pocket in my jacket because I have to return it, which is the one, I, okay, this one here, which, see how confusing this is? It's for this cream beige colored wall, which looks exactly like the color of a 59 Studebaker Lark wagon I saw when I was a kid in Roxborough in the 80s. And uh, anyway, but so... I put the other marker in my pocket of my coat because I gotta go to Mayor de Serra now to return it downtown, or sorry, exchange it because the one I was using for the asphalt here on the ground, see, as you can see, it started off well, the ink flowing out of the tip, fine, no problem. But then I got about here, I'm like, what the fuck? The damn thing is already worn out. Made in China, probably, you know, I don't know. Or too many people tried that marker before they buy it because, you know, these section of markers, you know, usually they have this little white pad of paper like this, but it's about this size and you know, you can try to make sure it's the color you want in the marker or it doesn't fade out. Anyway, I talk too much. All right, uh, on to other stuff because I don't want to stay here all day, even though it's not as nice a day today as it was yesterday. Uh, I still like to go out and get some fresh air and maybe film another snow removal operation because I know you need it. A drug is a drug. What do you think, Gloria? Yeah, she wants to go to bed, as usual. All right, so uh, happy the way the angle is coming out, happy with the way the wheels are coming out. It's going to need, uh, towards the end, a lot of touch-ups, though, on the chrome and the size of the wheels. Uh, the windshield, which is a little bit, I put a little bit off. It's not angled enough. As you can see, if you look at it closely, and some of you are going to say, wow, it's no big deal. And yeah, but I'm a perfectionist. And speaking of which, uh, this is the hard. This is going to be uh, a bitch right here, because look, you see how you have this, progressive fade over here definitely a typical type of lighting and you know this was taken in the early evening in the summer probably and uh, but Nick if you see this I'm doing my best buddy and uh, oh man I just noticed another thing I did I had a hard time with if you look at the windshield it looks much more uh, narrow than I did it here this is a problem right there and uh, again I think it's due to my astigmatism I've always had a hard time with angles you know uh, it's actually a miracle that this one, I pretty much made it exactly as it was in the photo. Um, and when I mean the angle, I mean like the, that type of angle or like that 58 Pontiac up there. So uh, anyway, whatever. Another thing, uh, a couple other things I want to mention. Okay, the sign, the Pan Pan Panarita sign, eh, right? Because Nick's garage, is, his name is Nick Panarita, is Greek. His brothers and him are muscle car, or should I say, especially Mopar muscle fanatics, dusters, challengers, kudas, and so forth. So the sign looks great, the old sign. I didn't notice until I colored part of this wall that, look, look at this picture. I don't think I had noticed that before. Look at the old letters used to be over here. It used to say mechanic, which is French for mechanic. And that's a really old building, eh? I mean, like, 
I'm sure part of Nick must have been like so sad to see that go because it's just it just looked like a typical old worn out building that's still there because you know it's built to last and then I was even thinking about the layout inside all these times I went in there it was just kind of a strange sort of a bit of a strange layout and I think it was probably built I wouldn't even be surprised in the 30s even and you know the doors were changed the windows but uh yeah so anyway so another thing another actually complaint about these stupid omerta serra markers like look this one here right is for the the wall but look at the tips they're fucking gray how the hell am i supposed to know it's beige i thought it was more of this color more of a gray color so and now it's too late i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna i'm not gonna return this one but you know what i actually everything happens for a reason i actually like it better this way because maybe in the old days the walls might have looked a little more beige you know I don't know, maybe not, probably not, but it still looks better, it looks more positive and newer and, you know, so forth. So maybe that's what this drawing is about too, Nick, if you see this, is about just, and not, not just Nick, but people, you guys who've, who've been customers with him a long time, at this location, or you work for him, or you worked for him, is the, the fact of the matter is, I'm, I'm glorifying not only this car, which I don't even know really if he still has or not, I never hear him talk about it in his videos, I'm sure he does, but uh, it's... You know, just not only freezing a moment in the past, as in this picture, but making it look a little bit also like back in the day with the building, as I realized as I was doing it, I was, you know what, I'm going to make this, no rust, no nothing, just like A1. Uh, maybe even perfect, just like the way Nick is in his, um, in his work, whether it's rebuilding Hemis or, you know, uh, just doing general uh, mechanics. So that's it, guys. Uh, yeah, I'm... Uh, well, I guess I could draw a little bit, because I know you guys like to watch me draw, so hang on a second. I'll give my hand a break here. I don't like setting this. I, I really got to find a tripod. I, I can't believe I, I blew it on that fucking tripod that that guy bought. Man, he was looking at it for like 10 minutes. I felt like saying, decide, we got to buy it or what, for Christ's sake, you know? He's just fucking staring at it. I mean, come on. So now we got these, these rims here, which are... Um, they're very Mopar, you know, these were not, this was like the, I guess you could say these were the signature and iconic 60s, 70s um, Mopar mag wheels, optional mag wheels, as I mentioned in my last video, and like this type of, these type of vents here for the brakes, uh, drum brakes for the, you know, so they don't heat up as much, even though they did. And now it's and the funny thing is that <laughs> it's the first time I do a large drawing of a Mopar with these wheels, and frankly, I never, I never really, I never really cared for these wheels. I don't hate them. I'm not really like fanatic of them, frankly. I, I think I don't know. Part of me wonders even if I, I was mentioning those hubcaps before, you would get standard. You know, well, actually, standard on this car would have been a manual transmission, a slant six cylinder motor steel rims with dog dish hubcaps which means the small hubcaps this size here like a police car or a taxi and um but you know that year the hubcaps um on these cars and i think they put them also on the polara and the monaco and uh, maybe the coronet and all that they, they were really nice looking hubcaps i mean like really nice and i'm telling I'm, i wouldn't be surprised if they were hard to find today i'm actually willing to bet that they're hard to find to get today, and they might even have been fucking popular back in the day to steal it. Come to think of it, they had they they were they looked uh, I don't know they looked classy, and now you see I have to fix this. See this I'm gonna have to take some paint. When I, that's what I wanted to say before. Sometimes I ramble on so much I lose my own self and what my thoughts. Is I'm gonna have to take some paint uh, somewhere along the line here and fix all this is supposed to be like white or whatever light blue of the sky this here too the the molding around the real wells this one this one i have to fix this wheel a bit a little bit too that freaking windshield bothers me though i didn't realize until now just to show you how what an astigmatism is in eyesight it's not just not being able to see well from far but also uh because you see my left eye you know when you're 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 looking at something or you're driving and your depth of field vision, your peripheral vision, as they call it, meaning, um, you know, you see things coming from your sides, but my right side is not too good. So I'm sure it has something to do with this here, why I fucked up that windshield. Maybe, maybe not, but 
you know, uh, this is stuff I never knew for years. I never figured out on my own. I don't know, I just wasn't as, uh, I guess, intuitive maybe on oneself. So, um, anyway, uh, so that's, that's it. That's it for now. I'm going to stop this here because, again, I would like to uh, go out. Also, another thing, by the way, I forgot to mention, I'm, I'm really thrilled with is the the uh, the angle it's you know at first when I saw this photo and Nick gave me this like I don't know 2010 2011 something like that at his old shop there um, I I didn't like the angle for it I didn't really care for it I'm like eh, maybe that's one of the reasons why I didn't wasn't enthused about doing this this drawing but actually in hindsight I love the angle now I love the way it looks I I've never done many cars in this types of drawings you know full color detail and everything. Like that one up there that I did in uh, 93 or 94, 78 Volari Roadrunner. Um, yeah, I've been doing these type of large drawings and color details since I was 18. Imagine that. 17. 17? 18? 18. Uh, so that means 25 years almost. God, is that right? Okay, no, no, that's not correct. Anyway, let's say 20 years. And, uh, yeah, it's cool. It's, I think it's the first time I do an old car in one of these drawings where it's this type of angle. And I love how it shows the cars, uh, the lines of it, the, the aerodynamic lines of it. It looks ready to take off like a fucking rocket. You know, 426 Hemi, baby. I know how they sound, man. I love all these cars. Love them. Meow. Meow. Florian likes the camera. You want food? <laughs> Alright, that's Gloria saying goodbye. So, uh, that's it, guys. Uh, please rate, subscribe, and comment. And I'll just leave you with uh, some of the stuff I have for sale here where I live in Montreal. Um, if you're interested in any of these original items, photos, advertisements, I can tell you that a lot of these things uh, I won't ship them if they're in, framed, you know, because of glass. There's way too likelihood of breaking. I don't feel like screwing with that. But, um, I can sell them without the frames. So, not that bust, though. No, 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 I won't sell that without a frame. Even this one, actually, I could take it out of the frame. That's a drawing I did many, many, oh, I don't know, 2011. I almost said many moons ago, but... Yeah, models aren't for sale, sorry. I build those... I built them. This, by the way, that's from an old Camaro calendar. Very cool. I thought it was a really cool picture because it's such a, a unique car. It was an Indy Pace car, uh, 94 or 93. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, fucking calendar 10 years old or whatever. And I framed it, you know, so I don't know. I want 10 bucks for that. So there you go. And that one, too, is also from an old car calendar. Jaguar uh, SS Roadster. SS? XS? Fuck, I can't remember. Anyway, so that's it, guys. So uh, take it easy. Bye-bye.